Let's get a look now at our forecast. Rain, rain, rain. But the good news, it's a fast mover. Yeah, right? tomorrow looks better, yeah. right? Um, hey, you need the rain, gang. We, we still need rain. And we will. You know what? Coming up when I see you in the 6 o'clock hour, half hour, I'm going to show you what the, the update is on our drought monitor because it's being helped by the rain. But right now, there's your picture. You, well, you can't see too much out there, but... Uh, <laughs> That is our skyline. Uh, there's rain, some bouts of heavy rain, even in the city right now, 66 degrees as we speak. So here's the radar picture. This is a great illustration of what's happening out there. So look at this rain in our suburbs north and west of New York City, pushing up to the north and east. But look at this line, this little squall line coming in from the west. They are doing just what we talked about yesterday, how everything was going to be converging, like, like it's a big mixing pot out there. And in it comes. They will be colliding. They are going to form one line. And then... We've also got some rain offshore that I'm watching, but some of our heavy rain, you can even zoom into the city right now. We're starting to see pockets of heavy rain around the city, some of it right on top of Yankee Stadium as we speak. And then you push over to, oh, look at some of these. Man, there's some pretty decent down, uh, downpours out there. And then if you look, take a look, there's a little batch from, say, LaGuardia over towards Great Neck and this area offshore. Right, not affecting anybody but the fish, except as this pushes to the north and east. So towards the east end of Long Island, as that front slides through, this is going to give it a little added jolt. It's going to energize that. So what do we think is going to happen? Bigger rain out east. Here we are. The image is suggesting at 6:30. This is, I think, a little bit ahead of schedule. So let's go move it forward to about 8:30. So the rain would be with us for the east end. You still have some bouts of heavy rain, you know, north west of New York City, but it's the east end at that point in time that I'm changing my focus to. This is 8:30 and. And watch how these training showers and storms just hang out over, to tw over the Twin Forks. By 1030, the picture hasn't changed too, too much. And it continues that way until they start to fall apart. All right, now they're not gone at 530 in the morning, but the heaviest stuff, you can see that line now, is offshore. And we have bouts. Speckled areas of heavy rain, but notice it's just the east end. Everyone starts to clear out by the time you start your morning, 930. We're looking just fine for Friday and for Saturday. So how much rain are we looking at? Well, the new model numbers are suggesting there's a pretty decent range out there. Uh, we think the biggest number is going to be east, a 2.8 possibility for Amagansett. But look at, take a look at Riverhead, take a look at Monticello. I mean, you're looking at a couple of areas with just shy of two inches of rain. Belmar about an inch. This is showing New York City at 0.3. Well, if Belmar's about an inch and I see Newburgh at 0.7, I think New York City will end up more like around that half inch to an inch range, somewhere in, in that area. But either which way, we're looking at rain out there with the bigger numbers the farther east you go. The bigger winds are going to be the farther east you go. 11 p.m. from New York City out to the east end. Winds are basically gusting at, well, this is showing 36 miles per hour. And then as you go through the late night hours, I mean, 9 a.m., you still have the rain for the east end of Long Island. You still have the wind for the east end of Long Island. But remember, the wind advisor for the east end is from midnight tonight until 8 o'clock in tomorrow morning. So I buy into all of that. Here's your picture with really not wind, with wind not being a factor by tomorrow afternoon. So Yankee game tomorrow is a go. 68 degrees. You play ball under beautiful conditions. And then you get to your day on Saturday. Beautiful conditions again at 69 degrees. Sunday, 70. I think Sunday looks fine. Maybe a few more clouds, but no rain. The rain will come into the area with another front that arrives on Monday. So Monday, you're 63, and then that cold front will do what cold fronts do. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, temperatures in the lower to mid-50s for highs. And I think that's the way the week is going to work out. Next week, it'll be a chilly one. It's right. going to feel like fall. October. That it will. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay.